India is closing in on a successful moon landing. Not only does that have implications for the future of lunar exploration, but also the country's standing as a space power. Here's what you need to know about the Chandrayaan-3 mission. The mission was launched on July 14th and is headed to the moon's South Pole, where no one's been before. The South Pole is home to frozen water, which could be a source of water, oxygen and fuel. That opens up possibilities for future missions, moon mining or even a colony. The Chandrayaan-3 lander is about the size of an SUV. If it lands successfully, explorers will spend two weeks running experiments, including analyzing the mineral composition of the moon's surface. India's previous attempt to land on the lunar south pole failed in 2019. Its lander and rover were destroyed in a crash near where the Chandrayaan-3 will attempt to touch down. Rough terrain is one of the complications of a south pole landing. But India's space agency says it's made adjustments that will make it more likely this mission will stick the landing. A successful mission would make India the fourth country to land on the moon, just ahead of national elections next year. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government is looking to spur investment in private space launches and satellite-based businesses. India has said it wants private space companies to increase their share of the global launch market by five-fold within the next decade.